So really, that's the Karma parameters rollout, and let's minimize that. And okay. Let's expand this next one. This is going to be dealing with collisions, how all that works. And what we have here is the K friction. This is the first parameter. All right. Um, K friction is going to be handling how our objects, when they collide, if there's going to be any damping, if you will. Okay. So, so like when just like real friction in between. That's them. right. I mean, same if thing. You have an object sliding across a carpet. I mean, it's not going to slide very far, but if you have maybe a really nice, highly polished tile floor, it's going to slide a lot further. Exactly. So with that zero, it would just slide across, as we saw in the previous lesson. Right. We saw that, uh, like, like you said, in the previous lesson when we had our barrels, they would hit the ground, and they would just kind of keep sliding across the ground like the, the floor had either been heavily oiled or maybe it was covered in ice or something. Right. So we actually, to be more realistic, we actually want to set it to something like maybe 0.2. Okay. So let's set that to 0.2. And the K impact threshold. This is much like the other one that we were just talking about. And this is going to trigger another one if it goes below, I mean, if it reaches that threshold. All right. So it's going to trigger a function that we code ourselves. Cool. Again, you can't use a preset. You have to make your own. Okay, cool. Below that, we have restitution. And this is really the same as bounciness. If you set it to 1, it's going to it'll bounce at the same velocity that it hit. Okay. So it's going to have the same velocity as it came in. And if you set it to like 0.2, that would be sort of more, a little bit more realistic. It's not going to be the same velocity as it came in, just a little bit sh smaller. All right. And if it's at zero, obviously, it's not going to have any bounciness so at all. So 0.2 would be like uh, 20% of the velocity that it sort had Sort of when like it came that, in. right. Okay, cool. So that's really the Karma parameters collision area. So let's go down to object. This is just going to show our name of our object. Okay, well, that's handy. That's handy, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's really all of the parameters. So let's actually try these out because that's, sure. that's where the fun stuff comes right, in. Right. Let's set a few things up and test this out on our level. So uh, we already set this one to have a little bit of rotation velocity. Okay. So let's actually just keep that at that. But let's go into maybe, say, I don't know, maybe this barrel. Let's move him up just a little bit. And let's test out his rotation. I mean, excuse me, his bounciness. Okay. Um, but first, let's make it so that he doesn't start initially, only after we shoot him. Okay, that, that'll be cool. So that we'll actually be able to see the bounciness happen. Nice. Let's go under collision. Let's change the restitution to, what do you say, Zach? Oh, let's try something like three or four. All right. This is going to be definitely some crazy motion. Yes, it will. So that one has a little bit of bounciness. And another one that's kind of interesting that's hard to describe is the K-Boyancy. Well, it does make sense, but it's kind of cool to see. Right. So let's exit out the parameters, and let's create a little hole, a little, like, trap door in our level so that we can put some, stick some water in there. I was going to say, well, I mean, if you're going to test out buoyancy, we've got to have a pool of some kind. That's right. Let's change our brush size to something like maybe 128. Oh, let's actually keep the height at 256. Let's set the width to 128 and the breadth to 128. That's going to be a very deep little pool you got there. Yes, it is, but it's cooler that way. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> let's move this guy down to the bottom of the object, and let's set this maybe maybe right over there, kind of in the middle-ish, and let's cut that guy out. So now we have sort of a hole in our object, and this is where we're going to be placing the water. Okay. So let's go down to volumes, and let's place a water volume. So now we have the water volume in there. Okay, cool. And let's create a special brush. Let's go to um, set it as a por portal object, and set this to non-solid. Place so that. That'll actually create the water in our scene. The surface on it. Sweet. And that's a very ugly brush, so let's go into our texture browser. And let's open this up. And let's change this to something a little bit more interesting. Let's go over to the... Let's get some lava. Yeah, let's get some lava. So, lava MLFX. Open that guy up. Which one should we choose? Oh, uh, any of them would be fine. Any one looks cool. So let's select our texture, our surface, excuse me. Yeah, there. Kind of a cool effect there. Very cool. It's not exactly fancy water, but it'll work. Right. It, it'll show off our buoyancy anyway. Right. So, mm, let's move, well, let's create another one just for the fun of it. Sure, why not? And let's move this guy over just a little bit, right over our object, our, our pool, excuse me, of lava. Okay. Move him up a little bit. So you're going to drop him right into the pool. That's right. Why don't you set it up, too, so we have to shoot him to trigger him? That's a good idea. So... Let's go into the parameters of this guy. And under Karma, Karma Parameters, all the way down to Karma Parameters, 
we have the buoyancy. In this case, we wanted to kind of float to the top, so let's set it to something like 1.2. Okay. So we set it to 1.2. So that's going to actually float to the top of our surface. Right. Like, like we said earlier, one would be neutral buoyancy. So wherever it ended up, wherever it stopped moving in the water, that's it where it stay. would stay. Right. So if we add to that just a little bit, we're going to get a slow sort of pull back to the, surf to back to the surface. Right. So that's actually pretty good. Let's turn off start enable to false so that when we shoot it, we can actually see the effect. Right. That means we can actually trigger this guy. Right. Unless so something else hits him first. Right. You never know. This you, you never know. It's that, such a big level. Right. That bouncy barrel we're about to set up, I mean, he might fly through and take care of it for us, but we'll see. Hopefully not. Um, this guy is above. That's actually looking pretty good. So let's run our level. All right. Do you need to set up anything with your lights first? Actually, good point. Let's let's just um, um, generate our build the lighting quick. Okay. And that's pretty nice. So let's run our player map real quick. Mm, let's load up Unreal. All right. Takes a while. No. Uh, not too long. Oh, check it oh, out. Look at that. Oh, look at that. He kind of screwed up our simulation, didn't he? I didn't mess anything up. I, in fact, you know, earlier I actually said that. You know, maybe I jinxed it when I said that maybe that was going to happen. Maybe I should just blame you. Just blame me. That's fine. Okay. Anyway, let's shoot this guy, and you'll see. Look at this bounciness. Oh wow! Oh, it's, oh, it's coming oh, for us. Man. Oh no! Run! Hide under something! Oh my gosh! You guys probably can't. Oh even, wow! Oh. Check it out! It tattooed us. That was great. <laughs> oh yeah. So as you can yeah. see, we have a very wild barrel here. <laughs> you can't even see it. You I guys mean, probably can't I, even I, see yeah, it. Yeah, say after we encode this, they won't be able to see it moving at all. <laughs> So let's go ahead and quit that. Let's, yeah, let's go back let's into that. Let's go back into uh, Unreal Ed and let's adjust this a little bit. In fact, let's make sure that everything actually triggers as we shoot it. That right, way that's we, a good idea. That way we can go through and actually test each one of these out individually. Right. So let's go into each of our um, objects. <laughs> that was really cool. That though. was really cool. <laughs> um, and set the start enable to false for all of these. That's one of those Mexican jumping barrels. Yeah, one of those crazy barrels. And let's just go into all these. Make sure that this one's maybe false. maybe let's bring down the uh, the restitution of that one barrel. Yeah, just, just, just a, a tad. Little, a little bit. I'm, I'm not saying I'm wrong, but maybe three was just a little too high. Okay, but of course you're never wrong. I'm never wrong. No, I'm, I'm not saying I'm wrong. I'm just saying that that three. Was, okay, I'm wrong sometimes, <laughs> not this time though. And we'll say that maybe three was just a little too high. So we'll bring that down to something a tad more reasonable. 1.5 maybe. Okay, okay, I can deal with that. So that's pretty good. Um, let's make sure all of our properties are sound. Let's just move this guy over just a little bit. Make sure it's suspended right over our pool. Let's just look around a little bit. That's pretty cool. Okay. So let's just build our lining once again, and let's run our level. And as it loads up, doesn't take really too long at all. Now get that cool Unreal Tournament screen, and voila! Ah. Ah, now nothing's moving. Ah, the control that we have. So, let's first look at our barrel. Yeah. Shoot him. Okay, and he falls into the pool. And look and at that. And he comes right back up. Wow, that's cool. That does look pretty cool. I used to get things like that in my breakfast cereal when I was a kid. You know, you could drop them in the little... Well, never mind. <laughs> they'd they'd, they'd go to the bottom of the scary. sink and they'd come back up. You know, they're fun to play with. But that's really cool. All right. So, this is the object that's supposed to be bouncing. The one that... I mean, Zach, excuse me, said wrong. Yeah, I'm not Buzz. No, you're not Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> So let's shoot this guy. And look, uh -oh. we have a little bit of bounciness, not a whole lot, but it right. did bounce a little bit. Sure. Very cool. And notice he is sliding a little bit. I mean, in a real in a real life situation, you may want to turn up the friction. Just right. A you want to crank up that damping a little bit more, or the the friction, if you will, so that that didn't uh, jump around quite so much. And this final guy, let's just shoot him. Oh and my look goodness. At that. Pinball effects. And the other barrel goes right into the water. Know. I don't think he's coming back up. No, I don't think so. So. That's kind of our barrel chaos for the day. Yes. So, I mean, that really showed all of the parameters in the in for the. Right. Well, objects. we d we discussed all the parameters. We demonstrated quite a few of them. That's so right. So we can see what each one of them does, and uh, I guess it's really going to pretty much wrap yeah, it up I for think this you're lesson. Right. So, with that, thanks everyone.